Have you ever wondered what a game that merged EverQuest and Minecraft together would look like? Shit, <laughs> not that one. That no, uh, that's I just made myself sad. This one. Evercraft Online is running their first open pre-alpha test starting April 19th for the weekend. Before we get into the test details though, I want to clarify some things, because this might be the first time you're hearing about the game. Calling this EverQuest meets Minecraft is a bit of a misnomer, something that is highlighted in Evercraft Online's FAQ. Evercraft Online does not feature voxel building capabilities for players. However, there are interactions with the voxel world, such as voxel-based spawn rules, voxel requirements, and voxel summoning. I want to lead off with that because there may be some misconception that you'll be going into this MO and creating your own structures and terraforming the ground. It will be a voxel-based game, but it will not have those features. So what exactly is Evercraft Online? Well, it's an MMO. It's an MMO that is heavily, heavily inspired by, yeah, you guessed it, games like EverQuest. I mean, that's kind of in the, in, in the name. <laughs> Their vision is to lay out an MMO that breaks down the best parts of early MMOs, putting all of that adventure and social dynamics into an approachable and engaging package with a massive seamless voxel based world with real tangible danger, strategic gameplay and engaging exploration. For many of us, this test will be the first time we get to see how that all plays out in this game how the combat works, how the world welcomes you, how it hits those classic MMO notes. And I, for one, am excited just to see what it is. Now, graphically, this is not really the game for me. I actually have never played Minecraft. I know, that's crazy, right? But I never did. I was never just really a fan of it. The, the blocky look is not something I'm really into but it's, also, it's obviously a graphical style that a lot of people have found a lot of enjoyment in in, in time, so that's what, kinda why I wanted to cover it. There is one little interesting wrinkle that I wanna add here that's really just all my speculation and thoughts and has nothing to do with any of the goals or designs of the team making Evercraft Online. So it all has to do with the, the graphics being used in this game. Minecraft released in 2011. That's 12 years after EverQuest launched. It also has a graphical style that does tend to appeal to a younger audience. That's not saying that there is a specific graphics for any age group. You can like whatever graphics you, you, you enjoy. It doesn't really matter. But this style, because of Minecraft, does appeal to a younger demographic. The blocky style. So I'm curious if this could convince some players that are not aching in their knees or back and, you know, basically most of us on this channel, if it could convince some players to give this style of MMO a shot. That's my hope anyway, because I would love for some of those people that are much, much younger than I am to get to experience some of the joy that came from a challenging PvE experience that lets you work together with others to accomplish your goals. Because in the end, gaming is for everyone, and hopefully this could potentially, maybe, expand the genre just a little bit. Specifically, this part of the niche genre. I don't know. It could be it could be nothing at all, but it's just it's just something that as I was reviewing for this game, it came to mind. This game is also still very early in development with the test being part of their goal to work toward an MVP or minimum viable product. Things like monetization and release plans or even further testing plans haven't been dialed in yet. Evercraft Online is part of a growing pattern I've been seeing over the last decade or so of players becoming developers and taking MMO design in their own hands, seemingly disenfranchised with the current field of MMOs that have leaned more and more into the ARPG nature of MMOs and further and further away from the D&D roots of an MMO. I, for one, couldn't be happier to see this shift because I feel like we just keep getting 
the exact same MMOs in different skins over and over again. The ARPG MMO, I'm, I'm, the ARPG Quest Hub MMO, and I'm I want something new. And by new, I guess I mean old. And I'm I'm really I just cheers to the Evercraft Online team for getting to this point because getting anywhere close to this is not easy. There is a lot of work that has gone into this, a ton of work. And like like other tests before, I want to just you know warn here. Like if if you if anyone got into the very first Monsters in Memory stress test you may remember that it had a lot of lag and it was and a lot of times was kind of unplayable. I still enjoyed my time in there. I actually have a stream of that here, but it was it was a stress test. And I kind of imagine that this test might go the same way because it is the first big public test. And I mean, I'm I'm telling you about it here. So maybe some of you are going to go try it that weren't going to now. So kind of go into it just give give the dev team a little grace is basically what i'm trying to say give them a little leeway because they're seeing what will be what they can handle and it's probably going to be more than they've ever had just based off of coverage of this test but i don't know about you i'm i'm definitely going to try and give it a try and i think i'm going to go with an ogre because i just it looks so cool but i think i mean even more than than the the vibes of the place the music that they chose in the trailer for the ogre area has me really excited. I, I love like music, music and sound can go so far for me when it comes to a game. My name is Raven Flynn. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day and maybe, maybe I'll see you in Evercraft Online.